Hello, Dave here with uh, RadiationHealthRisks.com. I'm outside. I just wanted to do a quick video. You can see right behind me is an office building. It's an office building that I used to have an office in. Um, and I no longer have an office in there. And just recently they put up a huge cell tower right next to this office. I'm going to spin this around here so you can see this huge cell tower that's literally right next to where I'm standing, right next to this office building. And I'm maybe, I'm just guessing, 50, 55 feet away from the cell tower. So I'm gonna, I've got my high frequency analyzers. I'm standing here, I'm gonna just turn this on so you can see how much radiation this office building is getting pelted with 24 hours a day, seven days a week. See there, max out the meter. Max it out again. So more than 2,000 microwatts per meter squared is what this, this measures up to, is, and which is twice the U.S. safety limit, is just blasting down on this office building. It amazes me that they're putting up these cell towers next to office buildings, next to schools, um, all over the place, and nobody seems to care, complain, or, or mind. Um, and you know, as we start this, everybody's talking about the, the new 5G uh, technology that's coming out. As, as we start go implementing that, rolling that out, um, 5G uses um, higher frequency electromagnetic radiation. And so the waves are a lot shorter. They're a lot higher frequency, like I said, and, and a lot more intense. Um, and so what that mean, what the effect that has is it means that number one it's more dangerous but number two the waves don't travel that far and so they have to have the towers closer together now they won't be they'll still have these big huge towers but they won't be putting these big huge towers you know every 50 feet what they'll have is they'll have these little uh, mini mini towers they'll, they'll do it on you know light posts and things like that building tops um, that it's estimated that they'll have to have uh, one of these they call it a mini cell tower station every two to eight houses um, be, in or order otherwise if they didn't do that because of the, the travel uh, problems with the 5g because the waves are so short and dense um, people wouldn't have very good cell reception because uh, the 5G will have, it'll be able to carry tons of data, but it'll have, um, it will, objects will interfere with it, like houses and trees and rain. And so if they didn't have these uh, uh, mini cell tower stations every, you know, two to eight houses, people wouldn't have very good reception. So a little bit scary that they're trying to roll all this out on us. But I just wanted you guys to see, just standing here next to one of these cell towers, how much radiation they put out. So we'll call that a wrap. Appreciate it. Talk to you in the next video.